So I'm sure you guys got some uh, power tool batteries that come with these kind of chargers now. They have a, uh, a just a wall wart with a cradle. So that gives you the ability to tap in and feed DC directly to the cradle. So it's an advantage if you have an off-grid system, you want to charge DC to DC. Uh, why you'd want to do that might be because this might be 75 to 80% efficient at converting AC to DC, as opposed to a DC to DC converter that might be 87% efficient, something in that range. Because we're, you know, they're not going to be 95% like some boost converters claim, because we're going to be controlling the current and the voltage. So it has to be a boost converter that has both of those adjustments, and they tend to not be as efficient. But still, it's more efficient than this wall wart, or at least as efficient. But you're also going to be opening up some headroom in your inverter and avoiding all your inverter losses in that process. So in other words, why convert from, a, from DC to AC to DC instead of just going from DC to DC? So this gives us that advantage. I plug this in and I check the bare wires. I get 21.4 volts, and that applies to all three of these. This is my Ryobi, my Heart, and my Rigid. They're all five lithium batteries in series, so they all have the same charge voltage. And if you can, when you're checking the voltage on this, you also want to denote your positive and negative because the manufacturers don't have any particular scheme that they stick to. Sometimes this line is for positive, sometimes it's for negative. Most of the time it's for negative, but you can't be sure. And if you hook up these backwards, it will blow the cradle. So you want to check when you cut this off, you want to check your positive and negative and make sure to denote that on these. So what I do to avoid any confusion is I use crimp connectors that are so I cannot mix up my positive and negative. And that way I can swap these cradles out if I want to. But most of the time I just have them hooked up to the DC to DC converters. I have more than one, so I'm not constantly swapping these things around. So really quick, I'll demonstrate. I'm gonna hook up to a to simulate a big 12 volt battery bank. I've got my DC to DC converter here. This was $16 on eBay. And uh, you can see my input voltage is 13. Turning it on. Now you can see that I'm sending 21 volts down to the cradle. And once the cradle is cool with that, it opens up the charge circuit. And now you can see that I'm at 19.2 volts, which is the voltage of the actual battery that's down there. And you can see you got some pretty good voltage sag because this little battery is uh, really not designed for capacity that I'm charging from here. But it has the same chemistry as a LifePo 4 12 volt battery bank. And uh, my charge current I have set at 2.2. gives me about 43 volts, 43 watts of output which is perfect for this unit. It's got a little fan built in so it can handle about 50 watts. And 45 watts is about what you're gonna get from a you know, stock uh, charger. It says 60 watts on it, but that's the input power. It's really about 45 uh, watts output. And, uh, and so this is set for 21.2 or something like that. And once it reaches that, the cradle is gonna taper off the current on its own. And then the cradle, once it's satisfied with the charge state of charge, it'll just stop the charging process. And then this little guy will sit here and burn off 1.6 watts of standby power until you come by and unplug it. Even if you use that timer, it's not going to uh, stop consuming power because it has that fan running at full speed basically all the time. Other converters don't have that feature. Like, for example, this one is passive cooled, but it's only good for 35 watts. It's a little bit more difficult to program and it has no moving parts, and it only consumes 0.5 watts of standby power, and it's about the same as efficiency as about 87%. I think this was like $16 on Amazon by, by DRock. And if you want to take it a step up, you can go to the bigger one for the Ryobi 40 volt. This guy is about $35. It's got a 0.7 watt standby power. It's got an adjustable fan. It's an automatic fan that kicks on and off as needed. So that's kind of nice. And it's the same thing, it's gonna have programmable output for your voltage and your current. And in this case, the Ryobi 40 volt is a great candidate for that because it comes with these cradles and it comes with the typical wall wart that puts out you know, 42, 43 volts. And um, so you can charge your Ryobi 40 volt batteries direct from a 12 volt or 24 volt battery bank. And what's really cool is that this little plug is the same exact one that's used on the Ryobi 40 volt power station. So if you have a setup that's DC to DC for charging these Ryobi batteries, you can also simply just plug this right into your uh, Ryobi inverter power station and it'll sequentially charge your Ryobi batteries as well. And to make that even more interesting, you can actually, instead of using a DC to DC converter, you can get an MPPT. I've seen one on eBay. I got one on eBay for maybe $40 that has the ability to have a you know, customizable output voltage, which is just right for the Ryobi 40 volt batteries. 
That way you could direct charge from a solar panel into your Ryobi 40 volt batteries or into the Ryobi 40 volt power station. And those Ryobi 40 volt batteries are, um, if you find them second hand, they're actually pretty cheap and they have a lot of awesome tools like the brushless snowblower and the brushless lawnmower are actually pretty good tools. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I do have one request. If you know how to hack into a all-in-one charge unit like a DeWalt or a Cobalt 24 volt or an Ego 56 volt to be able to direct DC charge, uh, please let me know because I haven't been able to figure that one out. The 56 volt Ego power station, you have to buy a special uh, charge controller for that. It's $160, $170 and it limits you on how much input power you can get from a solar panel and so on. So I can't direct DC charge those batteries. And I'm kind of, I would like to be able to do that. And the cobalt 24 volt tools are kind of cool too, but they don't come with this wall wart style. So if you know how to do that, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.